Death is not the end. 1 Thessalonians 4.13 Brothers and sisters, we want you to know about those Christians who have died, so you will not be sad as others who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and that he rose again, so because of him, God will raise with Jesus those who have died. What we tell you now is the Lord's own message. We who are living when the Lord comes again will not go before those who have already died. The Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command and with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God. And those who have died, believing in Christ, will rise first. After that, those who are still alive will be gathered up with them in the clouds to meet with the Lord in the air. And we will be with the Lord forever. So encourage each other with these words. What kind of body will we have after we resurrect? 1 Corinthians 4, 15 and 35. But someone may ask, how are the dead raised? What kind of body will they have? Foolish person, when you sow a seed, it must die in the ground before it can live and grow. And when you sow it, it does not have the same body it will have later. What you sow is only a bare seed, maybe wheat or something else. But God gives it a body that he has planned for it. And God gives each kind of seed his own body. All things made of flesh are not the same. People have one kind of flesh, animals have another, birds have another, and fish have another. There are also heavenly bodies and earthly bodies. But the beauty of the heavenly bodies is one kind, and the beauty of earthly bodies is another. The sun has one kind of beauty, the moon has another kind of beauty, and the stars have another. Each star is different in its own beauty. It's the same with the dead who are raised to life. The body that is planted will ruin and decay, but it will be raised to life and cannot be destroyed. When the body is planted, it is without honor, but it is raised in glory. When the body is planted, it is weak, but when it is raised, it is powerful. The body that is planted is a physical body. When it is raised, it will be a spiritual body. There is a physical body, and there is also a spiritual body. It is written in the scriptures, the first man, Adam, became a living person, but the last man, Adam, became a spirit that gives life. The spiritual did not come first, but the physical, and then the spiritual. The first man came from the dust of the earth. The second man came from heaven. People who belong to the earth are like the first, first man of the earth. But those who belong to heaven are like the man of heaven. Just as we were made like the man of the earth, so we will also be made like the man of heaven. I tell you this, brothers and sisters. Flesh and blood cannot have a part of the kingdom of God. Something that will ruin cannot be a part of something that never ruins. But look, I tell you this secret. We will not all sleep in death, but we will all be changed. It will only take a second as quickly as a blink of an eye. When that last trumpet sounds, the trumpet will sound and those who have died will be raised to live forever and we will all be changed. Brothers and sisters, take heart. Death is not the end. Jesus has came to give us life and we will live eternity in eternity with Jesus. Amen. So don't mourn like those that's of the world who have no hope. Death is not the end. We will live forever in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.